Recently, when the FactShot HDR was released, there were a few interviews with FactShot himself, and he talked about sacrificing field of view for clarity. So I didn't know what that meant, and also he didn't elaborate. So I decided to do further research on that, and this is what I found out. For FactShot type of goggles, you have two micro display in front of your eyes. The micro display are just tiny LCD screen. To produce the field of view, you have the optics in front of it. The optics is just basically a binoculars uh, magnifying lenses that will blow up the images to whatever field of view that the optics is designed to give. The optics, that is the binoculars person determine the clarity of the images. Clarity depends on the resolution of the screen and the distance from the eyes and of course the quality of the micro display. Let me explain this. First of all, the screen must be of good quality screen, meaning that it must have very good color, contrast and brightness. Good color, contrast and brightness, the screen can produce a uh, very sharp and clear images. I think the most important thing about the screen is that it must have sufficient brightness because with the standard LCD screen, the brightness is quite low, so it doesn't produce very uh, good images and contrast images. You need to have at least LED backlight or the OLED screen. And I think the Alcor screen has uh, quite sufficient brightness also, but it's affected by its resolution. I'll talk about this later on when I talk about resolution. In relation to Alcor screen, basically like the projection TV that we had uh, many years ago, this is the uh, red, green, and blue strobing type of uh, projection. So that's why uh, with that type of screen, you can see red, blue, and green are alternating. So sometimes or oh, people don't like that but anyway that's about what you need to know about the screen itself as long as the screen can produce bright and contrasting image uh, that will then be able to produce good images depending on resolution and the uh, distance of the screen from your eyes In relation to uh, resolution of the screen i have read an article from uh, Corbin, um, the producer of this micro dis display, it talks about the um, 0 0.44 inch micro display of the HD2 and HD3. So what it talks about is that the if you increase the pixel of the vertical screen, the contrast will be reduced. So which means that the HD2 and HD3 screen doesn't have very good contrast. So what this means is that it's very difficult for LCD screen to have good contrast when the uh, vertical resolution uh, pixel count is increased. So for LCD type of screen, the vertical distance must remain around 480. But it, they can increase the horizontal pixel count to 800 or 854 and it's still uh, quite good in terms of contrast. You can see that in the um, Dominator V3 and also the Omway Commander V1, also Sky Zone version 2. Screen with uh, 800 by 480 and also 854 by 480, I think are the best screens for this fact shot type of goggles in terms of contrast, brightness, and colors. Now let's talk about the distance of the micro display from your eyes. The clarity and the sharpness of the micro display will depend on the distance between the micro display and your eyes. This is a type of optical illusion. There is an optimum distance between your eyes and the micro display to produce the sharpest image. So from the available FactShot type of goggles in the market, you can see that the FactShot Dominator V3 
Amway Commander version 1 and also Sky Zone version 2. They are all around the field of view of 30 degrees um, to 32 degrees field of view. I forgot to mention about the fly side falcon goggles. It also has 854 by 480 resolution, so it's around 33 degrees field of view. So you can see that if the this type of screen produces the best um, sharpness at 30, 32, and 33 degrees field of view. Any increase in the uh, field of view of this type of screen will reduce the sharpness of the image. Take for example the FlashShot Dominator HD3. It has a screen of 800 by 600 resolution. So assuming that it has also uh, some type of LED uh, backlight, which I don't think it has, because the field of view is big, it's 42 degrees field of view, the image is very bl uh, a, li a little bit bl blurry and uh, uh, too smooth. So it doesn't have enough contrast. So when you look at the images, it's not very sharp. So you can see that this shows that the best field of view that can produce the sharpest image is really 30, 32, and 33 degrees field of view. So you're going to ask what's happening to a bigger field of view? How do we get a sharper image? I compared the uh, FlashShot Dominator HD3 with my FlashShot Dominator SE. FlashShot Dominator HD3 has 42 degrees field of view and the SC has 50 degrees field of view. So the resolution of the HD3 is 800 by 600 and for the XE is 640 by 480. So surprisingly by maintaining the uh, analog video ratio of 640 by 480, the SE image with a 50 degrees field of view is much better than the HD3. It's sharper and um, more contrasty than the HD3 as it gives you a better flying experience. It looks very similar to uh, the images produced by the FlashShot Attitude V4 which also has the same resolution of 640 by 480 that has a 32 degrees field of view. Although the images may not be as sharp as the FlashShot Dominator V3 but it's better than the HD3 as more defined edges than the HD3 and it's better to fly with a 640 by 480 with a bigger field view. So in that respect, if you look at the um, Top Sky Alcor screen, it has 1280 by 720 uh, resolution and it has about 32 degrees field view. And because the resolution is higher, it's going to produce a very uh, smooth image, but less contrast image. So my theory or my conclusion of my research is that if you have an LED, LCD type of screen, and to produce the sharpest image, there is an optimum distance between the eye and the micro display. So that will give you the sharpest image. And also the micro display must have a a uh, certain resolution, then the vertical resolution must not be increased. So the resolution must be between 800 by 480 or 854 by 480. And the field of view is 30, 32, and 33 degrees field of view. It will produce the sharpest image. Anything above that, the analog uh, ratio should be maintained, which is 640 by 480. So if you go up to 42 degrees field of view and 50 degrees field of view, it's better to have 640 by 480 uh, resolution. So with that conclusion, let me talk about the OLED screen of the HDO. So with uh, 960 by 720 degrees uh, resolution, I think if you blow up that image, a big field of view, you're going to have a very soft type of image then it wouldn't be sharp and contrasty. So I think the maximum or the optimum field of view for 
this HDR type of OLED screen is probably 37 degrees field view. Of course, the OLED screen has a better brightness and also contrast. So maybe they can still increase that slightly bigger field view. But I really doubt it because I think FactShark will have gone through the process of getting it right with the optics. That is the distance between the eye and the screen. And they found that the 37 uh, degrees field view is the optimum uh, field view for the 960 by 720 OLED screen. So finally, as my theory or conclusion, I think that the best clarity that you can get from LED, LCD type of screen is really what you can get now from the Fetchart Dominator V3, Omoe Commander V1, Flysight and Falcon, and Skyzone V2. For OLED screen, I'm afraid that maybe the Fetchart HD, HDR is the sharpest image that you can get with a 37 degrees field view. And if you want a, a bigger field view, you have to content with the uh, Fetchart Dominator SE. You can't get any more unless you can find the factory refurbished one, or you can get second hand, or you can get the uh, Fetchart HD3. But you, you have to be content with the less contrasty, less sharp image of the HD3. Well, I hope you guys like and enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Just remember, quadcopter is not rocket science. See you next time.